Hi, this is Sean with Ohmu Energy, and today we're going to show you how to replace the 12 volt battery in your Chevy Volt. The Chevy Volt is a really awesome plug in hybrid electric vehicle that was built very well, and they built them from around 2012 to 2019. This battery fits in all years and the process of replacement is really easy. We are going to upgrade this vehicle actually to a OMU 12 volt lithium battery, which will last way longer. It's a lot lighter, so it's easier to install and handle, and it's a great fit in these vehicles. The Chevy Volt, one of the things that I love about them is that the high voltage battery pack, I feel like they did a really good job on the BMS and being like super conservative about how much energy they allow the battery pack to uh, to put out. And in other words, like they put a really nice big buffer at the top of the charge range. So it only charges up to around 85% of the actual battery capacity. And they put a big buffer at the bottom. So it only discharges it down to like 15% capacity, um, something like that anyways. And what's really cool about that is that the Chevy Volts, you can find one with 100,000, 200,000 miles on it and the range, the EV portion of, of the range, will be the same as it was brand new, which is like unheard of in the pure EV world uh, where every vehicle is maximizing its battery so much. So that makes these really cool battery, very cool vehicles to pick up, especially like you buy one on the used market, they're really good value. And so I find that they're a really excellent uh, used vehicle purchase, especially if you're like, EV interested and you want to kind of dip your toes in the EV world um, because you get that 30, 40 miles of EV range out of them. But then you also have the engine for peace of mind on long journeys and all that uh, things, things that people are concerned about that they always want engines for. So we'll show you how to swap the battery, very easy. And um, the process is going to be, there's a big tray in the top and the back of the vehicle, which is why we're standing at the back. It's got four 10 millimeter nuts that we will remove. That tray comes out. There's a couple of Velcro strips that hold the carpet down to the back of the seats. Those come off and then the whole tray can come out, set down next to the vehicle. Then on the battery, it's, uh, it's gotta be one of the easiest. That's why I keep reiterating that. 13 millimeter bolt is it to remove the bolt that holds the tie down strap. Then the battery is loose. And then there's just two 10 millimeter lugs, uh, lug nuts to loosen. And then the terminals are off, done swap the batteries. So we'll go through that right now with you and show you how easy it is. All right, here are the tools that you'll need. I use um, a power tool to drive the nuts because it's quick, but you just need a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket. For the 10 millimeter, you will need a deep well socket um, to remove those nuts. Then for safety, safety first, we use gloves with rubber coating because you're dealing with a lead acid battery. There's a potential for uh, acid to be leaking out of that battery. Um, and if so, you'll want to make sure that you have something rubber or it's totally sealed to prevent the acid from getting on your skin. And also go ahead and throw the lead acid battery into a plastic bag so that the acid doesn't get on anything else like the carpet or the paint of the vehicle because it's extremely corrosive. It'll just eat through anything. And then of course we do a safety glasses for the same reason because you don't want to get any acid potentially in your face. So those two things, and then this is the battery we're installing today. This is the H5 um, battery from Omeo, and it's extremely light. We'll show you the weight comparison in a few minutes. So we'll lift this panel up. Then there's four nuts to remove. They're all 10 millimeters. And then over on this other side. So now that you've got the nuts out, you can kind of lift this whole tray up. If you want to remove one of these just as a place to hold, it helps. Then you've got two Velcro strips up here that need to come off to free the carpet. Then that whole tray can come out and slide off to the side. All right, first things first, let's uh, remove the negative lug. We always start by removing the negative lug so that the 12 volt battery is disconnected from continuity and disengaged so you don't end up 
uh, with a sparky surprise if you were to accidentally hit the positive lug uh, while you're working in this area. So next there is a 13 millimeter bolt down here, straight on the side. And so you will loosen that off. Once that's out, this tether strap can be put out of the way. You can actually use the, the little trunk latch spot here to hold on to it for you. It's kind of nifty. Then last, this, this is the uh, protection shield for the positive lug. You got to kind of unclip it, which is there's a clip in the front and back. Then you can open that up and loosen the positive terminal. And that whole mechanism will come off to the side. So we can set that over here. This is what's so nice about this space is it's got all this extra empty space around the battery to put things like that. And then the battery can just lift out. It's pretty easy. Now we'll, now we'll show you the weight difference. All right, here is the OEM lead battery. It's a little over 31 pounds. Here is the Omu H5 and that is 12 pounds. So you're pretty close to a 20 pound weight loss by swapping, this, swapping these batteries. And that's uh, about the easiest 20 pounds I've ever lost in my life. All right, let's bring this battery back in. Let's put it back in in the same way. There is a uh, vent tube that actually we did not remove on the old battery because this car honestly didn't have that battery in here before we started. Um, but you just detach it from the battery and you can just let it rest down here. It's no longer needed because these batteries don't off gas at all. Um, so you won't need to reattach that vent tube to anything. Then you can go ahead and secure the battery first thing. And just put that down until it holds the battery nice and snug in its place. Then we will reattach the positive first. First thing you can line it up, slide that down and then go ahead and click the top case on there and you can kind of wiggle it to see that it's firm. And we will switch to a 10 millimeter and tighten that. So using a power tool on these lugs, if you don't use a power tool all the time, it's probably not the best idea just because you might over tighten it or strip it or something. It's a good idea to switch to just like a typical standard wrench uh, unless you're really comfortable with the power tool torque. Then on this other side, we're gonna make the negative connection. We do that second always and we because we'd rather have a negative wire which is already attached to the frame of this car hanging around than a positive. Um, when we make this connection, there's gonna be a decent amount of current rushing out to the car to power up all the various modules. So I say that because if you make it really slow and you just kind of tap the edges and, and you're, you're a clunk, bit clunky getting it on, you could see some sparks and arcs. So just kind of line it up and push it on quick and you won't see any anything like that. Then you can tighten that down until it's nice and snug. Now the car is actually rebooting. You'll be able to tell there's a light over here on the side. As soon as it gets power, the light will come back on for you. Now we'll go ahead and put the tray back in and secure those four nuts, and then you're done. So you can continue to use that spot as a nice handhold just to help you guide things in. And then put the top back on. And then we can start out by putting these all in by hand. Then come back in with your tool and tighten them all down. Once that's done, you can just reattach those. 
and voila, the 12 volt battery has changed and upgraded in this vehicle. All right, that's it. You've successfully swapped the 12 volt battery in your Chevy Volt, and we've upgraded this vehicle to the lithium 12 volt battery from OMU, which is much lighter weight, which is an awesome plus, but even more of a big deal is probably the fact that it lasts way longer and um, performance is a little better in terms of voltage holding, so it can, it can hold voltage at a little higher voltage than the lead, and that just makes for cleaner energy for all of your electronics in the vehicle um, in terms of voltage sag. So when there's a load, the lithium battery will hold its voltage a little better than a lead battery would. Uh, the other cool points are the environmentally friendly aspect of it. You're using a lot less material um, to, to power the 12 volt system in this vehicle. And with that, of course, being that it lasts a lot longer, you're using less material and less often. So there's a great, all these great benefits beyond just the peace of mind of knowing you have a really good 12 volt battery in there that's gonna last a long time for you. If you are interested, check us out at omu.com. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at our email support at omu.com. And uh, if you need any support, to have any support questions, you wanna go to our support page, that's support.omu.com. And as always, we hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your vehicles.